it really proved to be a tremendous tool to help us to say there are co-occurring problems out there. If we're not addressing them, then we're gonna ask the repeat offender because we're not addressing the underlying problems that they have. Our core, we're using the, the CARS tool on repeat offenders who, who score on the triage tool as high risk, high, high needs. Repeat offenders, uh, obviously along with hardcore uh, offenders, are our biggest uh, problem in the criminal justice system. My biggest concern about repeat impaired drivers are that historically they have not received sentences that addressed their actual needs. So I'm up on the bench and she's and she's she's standing in front of me and I say, okay, well now you have your third offense, so I'm gonna need to have an assessment done. And she just looked back at me and said, why? And I said, well, we tried, you know, the DUI corp the original way, and then you came back with another offense, so then there might have been something that we were missing. And she looks at me back and she said, like what? And I said, well, all right, you're a female and I know that I research and there's a very good chance that something else is going on there, something like depression. And she looks at me and she goes, It's not just that we're going to do this on a triage basis, but we'll actually have something definitively that we can use in conjunction with clinicians uh, to map out uh, a program for this person uh, to treat them uh, and avoid you know, them becoming recidivists.